All right, so Meta stock today after hours has squeezed up about 6% in value. This was due to a massive beat on the earnings report. So in today's video, we are gonna be talking about what's going on with Meta and answering that question of should you buy this stock. So I hope you guys all enjoy it. If you guys get anything in value, hit that like button, subscribe. If you guys are new to the channel, new to the team, we talk about everything money, so subscribe, join the club, so let's jump into it. I hope you guys enjoy it. So like I said, the stock has gone up about 6% in value today due to a massive beat on the earnings. Now the company went from about $300 all the way up to about $320. Now for a massive company like Meta, this does not happen every single day. Now honestly, it doesn't come at a huge surprise that their earnings were beat. We've seen a whole bunch of fantastic tech companies this week actually beat expectations like Google causing the stock to squeeze up. Now Meta on their earnings report, they beat expectations on their revenue. They were expected to bring in about $31.2 billion, which is so much money, but they brought in about $32 billion, so beating expectations by about $800 million. So anytime you have something like this, this is going to cause investors to flock to it. Everybody invests you know, for the future, so meaning if you have a company that's beating expectations on their revenue, you know, on their cash flow, all the fundamentals, all the good stuff, this is just a higher chance that down the road that this company is going to be worth more money. So a lot of investors flock to these stocks when they beat expectations. Now with that being said, Mark Zuckerberg did say that he does have a whole bunch of AI products in the works and in the pipeline that they're rolling out relatively soon. Now it's always smart that these tech companies pretty much look at what's hot. Right now we've seen a huge growth out of AI. AI is rated to grow at 37% per year for the next 10 years. So if Facebook or Meta, whatever you wanna call it, if they can make some money off of AI, that's gonna be a great thing for the company and it's gonna get a lot of people using their platform and doing great things. Now, anytime you guys evaluate a company, it's always smart to look at the cash on hand and debt. These are very, very important indicators for future growth. Now, right now, they have about $36 billion in cash and only $9 billion in debt. So as long as they have more cash on hand than long-term debt, Debt, that's always a good sign that they can pay off that debt if need be and continue to grow and invest into the business. Now, the only issue that I honestly saw with Meta is their net profit margin. It's still at about 18%, which is relatively healthy for tech stocks, but the only issue is it's down about 25%. Now, this doesn't come at a huge surprise just because they're spending a ton of money right now on AI development and new products. And honestly, as long as they're growing and reinvesting those profits into the business, that's always good to see a healthy and growing business. But now let's talk about should you buy Meta. So Meta, honestly, in the past year has done very, very, very well, you know, up well over 100% in value. But looking at the long-term chart, you guys will notice that we've seen a ton of volatility. The stock has gone from almost about $400 all the way down to about $120, back up to about $330. So it's very, very, very volatile. So for me, answering that question of should you buy Meta, so for me, I think it's worth it to have shares than not have shares. I definitely think Meta carries a ton of potential for tech, AI, the metaverse has been moving. And I honestly believe with Meta, they're constantly growing and innovating and doing new things like threads. This is a new thing. It's like the Twitter of Instagram. It's super exciting. And honestly, they're, they're just spreading themselves out. So they're dabbling in a little bit of everything, which is a great way to grow and invest and be in a whole bunch of sectors and social medias. But I do think this thing is volatile. It does go up and down at rapid rates. So the best strategy, one, would be to dollar cost average it. You guys know I'm a huge believer in dollar cost averaging. One, you don't need a lot of money up front. Two, it's a great way to reduce your risk, reduce your volatility, but still have shares to make money. The beautiful thing about dollar cost averaging is you're investing consistently rather than doing a one lump sum investment. So if the stock sells off, you're just averaging down that price. So once it recovers, you're making a lot more money. It's a great way to invest in one that I would highly, highly recommend. Also, like I said, this thing is a growth stock. So it's very, very, very volatile. And I would keep this thing about under four to five percent of my portfolio. The reason I want to keep it under four to five percent is because it's very volatile. This thing has gone up and down at rapid rates. Keeping it under four to five percent, you have shares to make money and you always can invest more down the road. So guys, I hope you guys all enjoyed the video. If you guys did, hit that like button, subscribe, and we'll see you guys later. Remember to stay happy, stay positive, and guys, this is just my opinion, so do your own research before you guys invest, and we'll see you guys later. Take care.